Hello, this is Ronnie. I'm back here with a clip taken from a long video. I just finished to record for my subscribers 71 minutes video covering many markets, highlighting the best opportunities in the days to come in Forex, commodities, stock markets, bonds. And um, I'm opening the special offer that I uh, do uh, have from time to time on this uh, uh, channel. So if you're interested, please stay on. I'll provide more details uh, at the end of this clip. Other than that, I wish you have pleasant viewing and good trading in the coming week. Bye now. This is the chart of uh, silver on the monthly scale. And I uh, brought it back here to the monthly scale because I want to uh, emphasize something. I want you to uh, observe uh, carefully uh, the black line. Do you see the black line here? Uh, how it was constructed, when it was constructed from uh, mid-2003. And it had a say in the formation of the price action over many years. Look, uh, you go back, you see here, obviously, extremely important, extremely important, this one, this one, and then multiple, uh, multiple situations on the way where we see the black line being involved very much, uh, principally as support. You see that? Principally as support. Now, if we go to the weekly, here's the black line popping up, and look what silver is doing now. On the weekly, silver is for the first time actually showing us a firm close above the line. We had last week uh, a close, but was, if you like, and we argued that was just uh, on the line, but here it really crossed over uh, and closed firmly above the line. We also have a challenge to uh, the descending line here by silver. Silver actually crossed above during the week, but it came down. It appears to me, uh, based on the wave count that I'm using here, that at the very least we have now a consolidation uh, to go through. Uh, it could be that we have terminated third wave on the black scale, and you can see very clearly the wave count here coming up uh, from a bottom, registering a lower low uh, versus what you had here on the weekly scale. We have one, two. We have potentially one, two here. We have three, four. How about this being three? Three on the uh, black scale, perfectly possible. Okay, uh, this is the weekly scale. When we go to the daily and the hourly, you will see that there are a few, uh, s a few small variations that we could introduce here. But the big picture should be clear to you where it's going. And it looks like it's now uh, really battling, uh, having regained the support of the black line. Uh, it's now battling this line and of course it's battling massive overhead resistance here. You can see this amazing overhead resistance and it's very normal that it would take time, yes, uh, to prepare uh, to continue higher. This is, this is a big deal, what you see here. So all in all, I still see uh, silver uh, pulling higher, continuing higher. Uh, that's the weekly scale. Uh, we're going now to go to the um, uh, daily scale. Now here's the daily scale. And you can see the one, two, we could work with another one, two, three, four, five, like that. And Silva, in my opinion, is going for that uh, consolidation at the inter, uh, interchain intersection here of, the, um, of both these uh, extremely important lines. Uh, on the daily, that's the 200 moving average, that's the 50, and that's the 21. And uh, overall, I don't see silver giving back all the gains. Yes, breaking like that. No, 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 no. I think that will be um, uh, will be a very big surprise uh, uh, for me. I would be really very surprised by that. I think it is uh, more likely that it is uh, if it is going to give back some of the gains, it's almost certainly going to uh, uh, going to stop here. Okay, well, I'm not even sure it's going to go that low. So uh, any sideways price action, 
Yes, lateral movement looking like a market is not quite sure where, where it wants to go. That's exactly what we want. We want to see that because that will be corrective. That will uh, emphasize the corrective nature uh, of the price action, the phase that we are going through. That's the 60 minutes. There could be uh, further uh, decline here, but again, I don't think massive. I don't think it's going to be very impulsive. Uh, anytime we come back, silver is uh, popping back above 16.07. Uh, it's another message by Mr. Market. Um, reserved for the bulls. Everything is fine. We're getting sideways here. That's exactly what we want. Okay, that's the chart of gold. That's the weekly. And gold absolutely blasted higher this week. It um, ran through the overhead resistance marked here by this line as if there was nothing there. It was really amazing. Uh, but uh, now having run up for such a lengthy period of time uh, in a fairly dynamic fashion, I think that it is time for us to be um, cautious. Um, I will um, not suggest that we are now facing this. Okay, uh, but I would say that uh, if we are coming close to the end of this D leg, it is definitely possible that we will begin to experience uh, decline, deterioration. Okay, um, I want us to be um, fully prepared for the possibility that in fact the bull in gold is not fancying coming back to give us the E leg. And what I mean is this. Imagine if the fourth wave, that I, the B, yeah, uh, the B that I've been talking about, composing of the A, B, C, D, E. In fact, the B ended here, right here, right at this spot. Now, if that is the case, look what can happen now. That'll be a one, two. That's a one, two in blue. You have one, two, one, two, three, four. And the fifth in blue is coming close to an end, which will generate the end of the third in blue black call for the fourth call for the fifth that is likely to take it uh, to challenge a uh, thousand three hundred and seventy area and then it's not going to fall it's not going to fall to give you that deal like what it's going to do is going to do this it's likely to do this for about a month or two it's going to stay fairly um, uh, fairly quiet in a tight range, let's say uh, 50 60 dollars running up and down here. That will be an extremely bullish signal. Extremely bullish signal that gold is really intending to absolutely blast above 1375, 1380, and fly and go high, uh, higher, and higher. Now, you're already familiar with two alternatives. Yes, I discussed the DE. I now discuss the possibility that we could have first wave up, that will be second wave, will go up in a third wave. So what is left? Well, the third option is that silver, sorry, that gold has no time, neither for the E-leg, nor for the second wave. Gold, in fact, is going to continue higher and it's going to uh, run through the move line that I've got here. Yeah, the pink line is going to run through uh, in uh, almost in express train it's just going to continue to power ahead okay if that happens we would have to come back and revise and review and see which wave count would support that yeah which wave count would uh, uh, be accommodating best this kind of price action i'm just trying to go with um if you like with a fairly conservative uh line of analysis i don't want to shoot for the extremes either way I'm going with what appears to be a fairly uh, common development in the circumstances here. There is no denying the fact that gold is definitely strong here. Uh, and we could face lateral movement for about a month or two. We could face the E-leg coming, popping up here. Continuing with this march higher, of course it's possible, but... Um, I don't see in the very immediate structure of the price action here um, the alternative to, to accommodate that. That's why I prefer to go with um, 
uh, with the idea that soon we are going to have to face some sort of correction here. Okay, so that's the weekly. Let's go and see the daily. So I think we can focus on what happened since this uh, consolidation here, uh, because I think that the move that shot up from this is still not finished. Okay, and that's going to uh, pull higher, uh, complete five legs. Uh, and as I discussed, that could terminate the fifth leg. If it is a situation of an ABC, one of the options that we discussed, then of course it opens the door for it to come, um, to come uh, much uh, lower than otherwise. If it is a three, four, five, that will terminate the third wave, it's likely to just stay around here. Let's go to the 60 minutes. That is the suggested wave count that I have uh, for um, gold at this stage. That's one, two, that's three. The three might have ended here. It's not going to make a huge difference. Yes, but the point is we are in the fourth wave. Expect further upside. If gold does break towards 1310, 1309, and it begins to look like it's sagging, it's sort of heavy going, it's going down here. Obviously, uh, my projection of uh, one, two, three, four is not going to come to pass. It's not going to happen. Uh, it is likely going to continue to correct. But again, I don't think that will be the end of the bullish uh, message uh, from gold. Um, and that's what I would say at this point. So this is Ronnie. I'm back here with uh, some details of the special offer that I mentioned to you early on. Uh, so you need to go on my website, you find it uh, at wavemastery, yes, www.wavemastery.com. That's the front page. You see I have, uh, if you are familiar with the previous version, uh, you can see this is a modified version. And uh, you run through, there is a bit of text here. And um, concerning the special offer, you will see uh, some tabs here that focus on the offer. Yeah, it begins uh, with the trial for the daily videos. Uh, a trial that is uh, costing you only um, $9.99 for uh, one week. If you like what you see, you have um, more details uh, about what is covered in the trial as well as in the daily videos once you click on the subscribe here. But this gives you just a, a very brief idea of uh, what is uh, really covered. Uh, if you go for the daily videos, you click here. If you want to go for the weekend uh, videos, uh, obviously you click here. Well, let's suppose you go for the um, daily videos. You click here, it takes you to the page that gives you full explanation of what is involved. Um, if you are from Europe, uh, VAT applies. Most countries are subject to VAT, so you have to select your country here. If you are from uh, anywhere else, if you are from the UK, USA, Belgium, oddly enough, because I'm based in Belgium, but uh, in Belgium, you don't pay VAT. Uh, so USA, UK, Belgium, the rest of the world, basically, you don't pay any VAT, uh, only 79 applies. So your subscription will start with a 999 after one week, uh, the 79 will kick in every month. Uh, you click on that, it takes you to uh, uh, PayPal, uh, you go through the, it's a fourth straightforward uh, process. Uh, you pay, you see, it starts with, uh, uh, for the first seven days, 999. And you go through that, it takes you back to the page um, and uh, essentially you get your logins. Yes, you go through, you have to fill in all your details, gives you the login and um, you will need more information uh, for me. So as soon as uh, uh, you subscribe, I will um, get in touch with me. Uh, I will uh, provide you the necessary details to complete your uh, subscription and have access uh, to the videos. Uh, if we go back to the main page, um, I just want to run very quickly here through the menu. Uh, I am in the process of actually, um, you know, introducing introducing some changes uh, to my website. So the, the front page might look slightly different. Maybe in the next week or so, I will be adding a few links here and there. But in general, um, I have written a few articles here that you might like to take a look at. Is this website for me, psychology and trading, trading in the arts, why join? 
Uh, you go through, uh, you've got a uh, subscribe. He also gives you an access to the uh, to the special promotional offer. Yeah, it's just another way of accessing it. Instead of uh, coming from the front page, yeah, you will have uh, um, you will access uh, through the the menu here. Uh, your subscription that that relates to uh, uh, the pages. Once you subscribe, once you log in, etc., it tells you which one is your subscription, etc. You have resources. Uh, here in chart galleries, you have a lot of charts um, giving you um, a very good idea how this uh, um, uh, principle of the Elliott waves is being applied to various markets at various time scales. It's very, very interesting. You should go through that if you are really a fan of uh, charts. Useful link, recommended reading list, all the other things are fairly standard. Um, take a look. Uh, contact us. That's for um, any issue that comes up. Uh, you come across, you have a question, you have a doubt, you have anything you want to discuss with me, just uh, use contact us. Uh, normally, uh, for the payment, I'm using PayPal, but you can pay uh, through other uh, means. For example, I can accept money through Skrill. Um, there is even a possibility to make a wire transfer to the um, account of uh, uh, the company that I use. Uh, yes, to run this website. Uh, if you don't have PayPal or you don't want to use PayPal, there are other ways to um, um, to pay and to join. Uh, there are a few uh, comments here that people put on my uh, concerning my work. I, in the past, I had many more. I just because I'm in the process of uh, uh, yes uh, improving, I'll have to um, uh, transfer, bring more uh, of the history yes of my work uh, to this um, uh, new. Uh, version uh, again if you have any questions uh, you just press this that takes you to the contact us page uh, name email address please make sure you give me the right email address message very simple maths fill it in here submit and I get it so I mentioned that I am uh, in principle I'm in Belgium so um, if you write to me from the US or from Australia or anywhere in the world and I don't reply on the spot Please give me a few hours. I will reply. Okay, I will reply. This particular weekend, I have uh, gone through uh, covering a lot uh, of um, the charts that are affecting um, the um, forex market, the precious metals, and there is some really very, very interesting study that I'm sure you would absolutely love if you're interested in the precious metals and in currencies in general. Okay, so um, I um, I think at the very least it's worth your while to have a go for a trial. Go for a trial, and you see, uh, you you will have access, and you can ask me also some questions if you like, uh, and then you'll see how things evolve for you. Uh, again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate. I'm here to help. Um, I hope to see you visiting my website, supporting my work. Um, wish you have a great uh, trading week. All the best. Bye for now.